Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sir, first of all, before I start my talk, an interaction with the August gathering here, I would request to all of you to please pay homage on the seventh death anniversary of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, who left us in 2015 on 27th July. So I pay my homage to Dr. Dr. Kalam, and I put this today's session in his memory. Dr. Kalam left us on 27th July, 2015. So we all remember him on this day. So friends. on chemical recovery efficiency. As you all know, the black liquor is a byproduct of pulp and it's a raw material for chemical recovery. When you see the importance of chemical recovery, actually much has been, not much has been discussed on it. As if you look at today's scenario, about 250 million tons of black liquor is being generated worldwide. It is a, you, in other words, we can say that 250 million tons of fuel is being generated worldwide. And out of this 250 million tons of black liquor, we are getting 60 million tons of white liquor. And another 750 million tons of steam is being generated worldwide from this, we can say, byproduct or a waste from pulp. We know that for every ton of pulp we produce, we generate about 1.5 to 1.9 ton of dry black solids. Volume wise, we can say 10 to 16 meter cube of black liquor, big black liquor will generate from draft of water for every ton of pulp we produce. And this all is a rich source of energy and chemical. We all know that chemical recovery boiler serves its raw material should be in such a way that it serve a good raw material for chemical generation and a very good fuel it should not have impact on steam generation. So looking into these aspects, there are certain properties which needs to be seen before the black liquor enters to chemical recovery and if required, certain changes are to be made either in pulping or put something in between from pulp mill to recovery to improve those properties. So I want to discuss with you what are those main important properties which have substantial impact on thermal and chemical recovery efficiency of the chemical recovery process. As we all know that chemical recovery process as of today, it's an efficient technology. Efficient, I can say, people are getting 97, 98% chemical liberation efficiency. So technology-wise, it's an efficient technology is available. It provides us recycling of pulping chemicals. As I told you, up to 97, 98, people are claiming 98.5 also. Efficient in of steam and electrical pass from black liquor, which was called a waste earlier and effective disposal, the most important as we can say, because a black liquor contains a COD more than one lakh. Effective disposal of pollution load of dissolved raw material substances. Once you look the unit operations involved in chemical recovery, it can be explained in four C only. One is the concentration, second C is combustion, third is cofficization, and last one is calcination. The process basis, these all forces are not simple, not so simple. While you go to the plant and the person who is handling this, he finds a number of issues, number of challenges, which involves air emissions, 
at various ended variable at a line field, effort discharges, and need for improved energy recovery. Management is after you generate more energy compared with the others and it utilizes. As I told in my first slide, if you look at the operations of different uh, sections in a pulp mill, the pulp mill and paper machine are very important for revenue generation. Mill is looking for revenue from this. But chemical recovery, you should know that chemical recovery is giving you white liquor at a cost of 9 rupees per case. And if you buy this caustic, it ranging from 50 to 55 nowadays. So economically, chemical recovery becomes more important nowadays. Earlier when chemical cost was less, 30, 32, 28, it was not making that significant impact. But now, getting a chemical 9 rupees a kg, with respect, if you buy it from outside, 55 rupees a kg, we can see the economic importance of chemical recovery. And secondly, as I told you earlier, you have to deal with the one lakh COD of black liquor. This is utmost necessary for absolutely essential, we can say, for pollution abatement. And same is the line, so that it deals, as we all know, that for every ton of pulp we produce, we generate something around 0.7 tons of lime per solid waste, you can say. In recovery cycle, we also had in solid waste. Now, other than major disturbances uh, occurs in black liquor or in chemical liquor, you can say. The most significant is changing in raw material supply, especially in the Indian conditions. Our raw material changes, our raw material furnace changes with season to season, and even that is not available. And this, so this uh, change in the raw material creates changes in black liquor properties. Second is the pulping conditions. If you change the pulping conditions, today we are using circuit based cooking aid, tomorrow I am using, using AQ based cooking aid, day after I am using another cooking aid, all has a significant impact on black liquor properties. And I am very sorry to say, when we are selecting a cooking aid, when we are selecting any chemical, what you see? The pulp aid, the pulp properties, the tapa number, the saving in chemical, but nobody is looking after black liquor properties. We are generating one ton of pulp, at the same time generating 1.9 ton of fuel, a chemical base. You are not looking a product which is almost double the product you are having from pulp. I think no mill is looking for it. Sorry, sorry last uh, six months, I visited three mills, those who are changing their age and all, and start testing the soil in their chemical recovery. By these simple changes, so my request to all of you who are from chemical recovery area here, when there is some change in the pulp mill, when you are examining the new cooking chemicals, age, everything, any changes, with, as you go with the changes in pulping properties, you also simultaneously check the black liquor properties. I will discuss in my future slides. Now coming to my topic, black liquor properties. As you know, the black liquor properties play an important role in smooth operation because this is the basic raw material. I can say this is the only raw material for chemical recovery. And uh, these properties we can derive mainly in three areas. First is chemical properties, physical and rheological properties, and its thermal behavior. The chemical properties of black liquor mainly involves total solids, TDS, and TSS. Almost all mill are measuring this. Species gravity and density, all mill are measuring it. RA, all are testing it, but there are issues with testing methods. I find in so many mills they are using a sorted method which don't give you the correct RA value and it sometimes it's misleading. Inorganic and organic compounds and its ratio, it plays a significant role on chemical, especially the biological efficiency. Organic compounds, sodium, 
as uh, Ms. Raji was discussing yesterday, that why we want to know the auricular bound sodium. So the reason is chemical recovery. It has a significant impact on chemical recovery. The auricular bound sodium, the reactions I will discuss it later. Yeah. Element analysis of black liquor solids. It has an impact the air supply. It has impact on the uh, upper region. How it impacts Pro process elements like CH, OS, and sodium. We are the elements which have which are take part in the reactions either in pulping or chemical recovery. And more process elements as I discussed in detail yesterday: silica, calcium, aluminium, iron, magnesium, potassium, and copper. Second, the another most important property of black liquor is physicochemical and radiological properties. Collateral stability. When I talk about collateral stability, no mill actually is measuring it. And no mill is looking at it. How stable is my black liquor? I am storing it for seven days, for six days, for five days in some mills, some ten days. How the quality of stability will change with the storage? No one is missing. And when we come to later on this, when you know how this quality of stability impact the recovery business. Viscosity and rheological, very important for evaporator and firing property. We'll discuss when we come. Forming tendency. I think nobody, almost a mill or two, I, I, I don't say, doing it, but others, they don't know how to test the foamy tendency of black liquor. And foamy tendency has a great impact on air filter. Boiling point elevation. Only at the time of design. When you design the elevator, you get it tested. After that, there are certain changes in uh, pulping, there are certain changes in the dead loads, your BP starts increasing, and you don't bother. And you say how my efficiency of the elevator which was already 100 tons per hour, becomes 90 tons per hour. But you don't know the region is BP. So these points I will discuss later. So these things have to be taken into consideration. And in the routine, these will be tested. Surface tension, very important for fire properties. Now thermal properties. When you talk about a recovery boiler working as a power boiler, these thermal properties are very important. Yes, we are measuring calorific value. Almost every mill is measuring. But a mill or two is measuring swelling volume also. <coughs> we see that a day or fine morning when the recovery in charge comes to the mill, pizza, there is a high value for me. And here after the operation people, why is this value for me? Why there is no Efficient burning, the region is as we are. Certain raw material change, certain chemical this chemical requirement change, certain changes in pulp mill or the storage of black liquor, they have a significant impact on SVR. If the black liquor doesn't swell, it will not burn. The more the swelling, the more in the surface area will come in the contact of the air, come in the contact of the oxygen. But when the burning behavior has a detrimental effect, you must check the SVR. How my SVR is there? How it was when my uh, recovery burner was working smoothly? You change it. You can have certain things in pulping, in something in between to improve it. TGA, thermochromatic analysis. How my black liquor burns with temperature? Because we all know that when you fire the black liquor, there are three stages. One is drying because it contains 70% solid, 30 moisture. The first drying takes place. 30% moisture goes away. Then it comes down, the drops come to the downside through gravity. And then at temperature something around 400, pyrolysis takes place, gases comes out, methane gases comes out, CO2 gas coming out, CO gas is coming out. They burn and give us the heat. So this easy analysis. I think meals have no facility. But if you have a TG analysis, you can set the air requirement, you can choke, you can fix benchmarking of the temperature, you can fix benchmarking of the firing concentration. 
So this is important for efficient burning. IPDT is, is you can say, a, a sub part of PG only. And the temperature of the ignition, it is very important. When we look to the wood black liquor, it has a low TIG. TIG means it starts because everybody knows that any fuel has an important parameter that is TIG. We have to have an optimum TIG. And this wood and wheat spa has lower TIG, they burn at lower temperature. But when we go to the bagas black liquor, bagas is a very high TIG. It burns at 700, 680 degrees centigrade. It means what I am saying here, if SVR in case of wood is reduced a bit, it will not have a significant impact on your efficiency, but combustion behavior because the energy is less. But in case of bagas, your, uh, your uh, recovery bar is working well, but next day you see combustion has changed. Unburnt armor. Even 10% decrement in SVR will play a significant role on combustion behavior as TIG of Bagas Black Liquor is very high. So, what, so those will watch working with this Bagas Black Liquor, they have to look periodically after a week or so the SVR behavior. If, if they find changes in that, they should look into the pump mill, otherwise one day will come, they will land the problem. That's what the combustion behavior is concerned. This I have discussed yesterday all in detail. The bladder compositions, the major impacts with the property hash. If you see that there are higher hydrogen injection during pulping, it shows degradation of carbohydrates, more proportion of organic acids, the high chemical charge is there, and less RA level. So this uh, organic acids also have a role in combustion behavior, we will discuss in the uh, next slides. This was this solid carbonate diagnose was discussed in detail yesterday. Let me skip it. Higher sodium sulfate indicates less less efficiency. It was discussed yesterday in detail. And the high organically bound sodium. If we see that high organically bound sodium in your black liquor, it means you are having degradation of carbohydrates. If we degradation of carbohydrates means these degraded carbohydrates force more organic acids which leads to higher viscosity. These degraded carbohydrates react with the lignin during pulping, form the LCC bonds, so or and they increase the viscosity and degrade the combustion behavior. So this organically bound sodium is important to see for viscosity and combustion behavior of black. I think nobody is measuring in nowhere, especially in Indian movies. Now let us come one by one on to some important properties. Because this uh, topic is wide area. If we discuss every property, it will take hours together. So we will discuss here more of the main important properties which have substantial impact on recovery efficiency. The first is the total soil. It's well known. It's, it has no other reason, act, no operational issue, only the economic issue. If I have double level so it is higher, my stream demand in effect is less, it's well known fact. But just to quantify it, because unless you quantify the thing, unless you measure it, you don't know the importance of it. If I increase the concentration of my weak black liquor by 1%, Take it as an example, from 15 I increase to 16. You can say you can say about 45 tons of steam in a 100 TPD kilometer. And those will sort of 500 tons, 50 tons, uh, 400 tons. They can just multiply 200, 250 tons of steam per day. You can save. We know that we can save the steam, but just to quantify it and tell to the operator people 
to the perfume of it. That if you work satisfactory and generate a slightly higher contribution, even by 1%, you can save this much for the company. Here the same, just calculation, if you have wood black liquor, having WBS code is 14 to 17 percent. You have to operate 6.6 6 to 5.9 water to generate a black liquor of 50 percent concentration, SCPL. In case of Bagas, which has almost around 10, or now 10, 11, it, then you have to operate 8, 8 to 10.5 meter cube of water for every ton of pulp. This is just a symbolic to make you aware the importance of WBS volumes. The suspended volume. I see that the aeropetra people, they are after the pulp mill people, just now we are getting this much of suspended solid because it has a significant impact on aeropetra performance. It increases viscosity, it enhances scale formation in the aeropetra. Actually, this by fiber scale is not formed. Fiber is not the basically the basic composition of aeropetra cells. But it gives a nucleus. Because as you know that black liquor is a colloidal substance, it has certain fine fine chemicals, certain fine particles as a colloidal particles. If there is no blockage in the aeropetra tubes, it will go straight away the, it will go out from the aeropetra tubes. But if their fines are available in the black liquor, what will happen? It will give a nucleus. And these small, fine colloidal particles, which are flowing along with the black liquor, they will start depositing on these fibers. And they acquire, they agglomerate, acquire a larger shape. Sometimes they attach to the tube of the, uh, uh, circuit of the tube, further even uh, this site of deposition of the colloidal and thus it starts escaping. So fiber, suspended particles in form of fibers is a disaster for an aeropetra operator to deal with. It increases viscosity scale formation. Normally all mills are having a, a screens at a WS tank also, at pulp mill also. So you should have a target, you should have a batch market of 20 ppm of excess. If it is more, you will definitely land with the problem in a better regarding scaling. Now what is the effect of pH? Again the stability of black liquor. For efficient oppression, for efficient processing of your black liquor, you have to have a higher pH and that is 12 plus. If the pH is less from the pulp mill, coming less pH, 11.9, 11 11.8, 11 the lower the pH, the better it is. The, 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 the lower the pH, the less time it will take to degrade. Because lignin start precipitating. Lignin, which is in collateral form, will start the precipitating form. Something around 10.5 pH, it comes down. And when you have a black liquor of low pH from the pulp mill, you store it for some time, it will degrade. So we have to have a pH minimum 12 plus. Higher the pH, it is better. But minimum 12 plus is required for better stability of black liquor during storage, during operation, and during a The pH is low. The saccharinic acid which generates during pulping, it starts polymerizing and if it starts polymerizing, their molecular weight increases, which substantially increases black liquor viscosity. So just if you are neglecting sometimes low pH, it can create havoc in your sold high concentration due to viscosity. So you have to see the pH very closely. It should be 12.5 or minimum 12 plus. Are the most important property of a black liquor, which has impact many fold in many areas. As you know that RA and NH and 100%. Sir, I have seen in many mills, 
nobody testing it properly. There is different testing methods for a soda black liquor and for a craft black liquor. But in all will, whether it is soda, whether it is craft, they are simply taking it and titrating it. By titration, you can measure only an average, the titration you are doing at length. But RA also rules the ambitious. So if somebody is saying I have 4 GPL RA and he is just simply testing with a titration, he will only be the annuals, not the annuals. Because the annuals doesn't react directly. You have to convert this annuals to any as such. Only then it will react with the acid. Then how to convert it? When you are titrating your black liquor to get the RA, you please add neutral formaldehyde. That neutral formaldehyde will react with the NH2S, will bring it to free as such, and then only it will react with the acid to give you the correct R. So most of the bill are using this sort of method and ending up with 1 or 1.5 GPL less RA, which is the actually each. The range which should you have for RA 4 to 6 GPL? And we all know that if the you know, if we have higher RA, it has no impact on viscosity reduction. But if you have very high, if you increase the inorganic you know, component, if the inorganic you know, component increases, we all know that when you concentrate in the evaporator, the sorting out takes place due to low solubility. And we end up with the precipitation of sulfate, we end up with the precipitation of carbonate, and we end up with the with the scaling of per time. So don't go a high RA, maximum 6 to 7 GPL. And 6 to 7 GPL with a weak black -like concentration, 16 to 17. If you are having 12, 13 percent, you have to have much lower. So you have to maintain, you have to optimize, you have to fix a benchmark for RA level, not to go too high also. Because it has detrimental effect in your operator. Uh, higher alkali also, if we have 2 GPL RA, it, will have, it has an impact on SVR, the combustion behavior. If you have optimum RA 4 to 6 GPL, it has an optimum impact, it will improve your SVR. But once the inorganics are going beyond 35, 36 percent, they have detrimental effect on your SVR. You end up with poor combustion behavior. So please, note it that high RA will have detrimental effect on your SVR, on your combustion behavior, and on your viscosity. So don't go beyond 6 to 7 GPL RA in weak black liquor. Just to quantify this effect of RA and viscosity, because there is a saying that if the RA is less, if RA, then viscosity will, will increase. So start, some people had a caustic in their app before evaporator feed, some also add before they are casted evaporator to improve. And how much they are adding, they are not mentioning it, how much RA is going on, how much is my organic low ratio changes. You see, if I have a RA level of 6 GPL, you see that my viscosity is getting reduced. 1 GPL viscosity very high, 2 GPL viscosity reduced. Up to 6 GPL, the viscosity is getting reduced in almost in all the cases. But when you are increasing from 7 beyond, this graph is parallel. So no further decrease in the viscosity. So this again confirms that 6 to 7 GPL is the maximum RA level which you could maintain. But totally, it has impact only just to calculate the chemical recovery efficiency. No further discussion required over it. Now ratio of organic and inorganic matter. This is for the same as I discussed the inorganic content. If the inorganic content increases, the sorting out takes place and we end up with the scale. And also, higher the low content, it will have negative impact on your swelling of the black liquor. And again, the combustion behavior will be impacted. So, any inorganic content as sulfate gas, as anaerobic, beyond 35 percent, it's hard to handle by a chemical recovery operator during work. So you have to see, either you have to work on the raw material, 
to remove the aerogenics, to remove dry keys, or you have to take certain other suitable options to get your aerogenic content below 35. Elemental composition, we all know it is carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, these are the process chemicals, important for its heating value and they are also for designing a boiler and evaporator and there are certain electric chemicals which are present at dead load, iron, aluminum, chlorine, magnesium, as we discussed in detail yesterday. They have also their tax on operation. Collateral stability. At the starting I told that is spent Black liquor is a collateral solution containing the two major collateral systems which are present. One is the molecular collide due to electrical lignin. It is acid with the saccharinic acid, the fatty acids. These two collateral forms are present in the black liquor, which are the main reason for their destability with the storage, for their destability at low pH, for their destability with low water. Due to low pH value, the further particles tend to aggregate, come close together and neutralize, uh, and uh, due to neutralization, they form precipitation. In the precipitation, you all know when we have something in precipitation, weak black liquor, it causes the scaling, it causes the higher viscosity, it causes the poor combustion behavior. But stability is considered very important to review point of view, smooth compression, as I discussed earlier. The effect of one piece, I think we, I should move up to the further slides as it was discussed more than an hour yesterday. Not required to be discussed today also. This slide I saw yesterday also the NP is in different black figures. You see the rice dry proper in every case. Bagas is very much close to hardwood as far as the NP is concerned. So no more issue in this case. But Due to this slow cycle of pressure, even we are facing issues with hard work. Yesterday we discussed it in detail. This slides I also discussed yesterday. The impact of MP is just to equip so, silica, scaling in filter, filters, wires, screens, furnace, etc. Poor vacuum clarity, as we discussed, when silica is there, it forms calcium silicate. And calcium silicate is very poor settling rate. It is a very poor settling rate. And we have fixed settling time in the clarifier. So more calcium carbonate or calcium silicate is coming with the hydrogen liquor and creating problem in every operation we use either the sulfur or the chemical recovery. Covered high iron effect in as poly practice of ESPS, thereby starting depositing the upper region. Calcium, we all know. Calcium, there are two types of calcium present in the black liquor, soluble and insoluble. And when the calcium comes at the first effect, where temperature is 130, 135 degrees centigrade, this calcium has a reverse solubility at higher temperature. It's a very unique phenomenon of calcium. All other compounds, their solubility increases with higher temperature, but solubility of calcium decreases, calcium compounds decreases with high temperature. So in the first effect, if you find the, the scaling due to calcium, iron, aluminium, as you all know, and phosphorus has its impact on ring formation, and potassium, same as chloride, has impact in recovery value. Now just to give a quantification, of impact of silica on lime purity. When you burn this lime mud in lime cellar, yesterday I think I have discussed it, at 4% the purity is 70% lime purity you are getting. But if we have 1% silica, you can have 92% purity. So once you are looking to remove silica, and you are calculating the capital cost, you are looking, looking the operational cost, you should calculate this 20% higher purity of lime which you are getting. With 20, and you can calculate the cost of the lime you are getting at 70% or 90% and the amount of dead load you are generating with this 20% less purity. 
So the whole thing has to be taken into consideration you know, when you go to improve the property of black liquor, when you are calculating the ROI. This course. One of the most important parameters as far as habitat is concerned. And you know that uh, viscosity is the limiting factor for firing concentration. There is a limit that if you uh, buy viscosity 400 CP, I can't transport it with pumps. So I have to close this uh, air pressure at that point. That's why the agro black liquor are fired at lower concentration and wood at higher concentration. So how the viscosity has effect? Black liquor viscosity, normally it is a Polybic nature of compounds, uh, lignin, extractives, hemicellulose, lignin carbonate complexes, the high polyphenol compounds. This and this nature, the viscosity impact is due to pulping nature. What is the raw material? What is the pulping chemicals we are adopting? What are the cooking areas we are using? How the reaction is taking place? And what is the composition of black liquor? Organic ones, organic composition of black liquor. And you know, all know that the strong black liquor is non uh, in character and its cost increases many fold, even at 1%. In case of agro ice cream, I have 1000 in viscosity at 66%. At same temperature, at 67, if you if you only 1% higher in the concentration, it highs 5 to 6 times. It may go to 6000, go to 7000. So you have to be very, very careful when you are going for the firing concentration. You can see it here, the bagas has the highest viscosity. Because bagas has more pentosans, bagas has three sugars, as it comes from the sugar milk. These three sugars act with the lignin, four lignin carbide complexes, and they are the main region of higher viscosity. That's why you can see that bagas has three times higher viscosity as compared to weight. Then next one is Vitus Pro. And then you can say bamboo is better than eucalyptus as far as the viscosity is concerned because bamboo has almost very low. So those who are dealing with the Badaz black liquor, they have to be careful about the firing concentration. They should not go beyond the limit. Otherwise, it, you will end up with a very poor combustion. If you are firing your black liquor at 127 or 126 degrees centigrade and you are having concentration of 65 and one day you achieve 66%, your viscosity will go up. You can say maybe double and you are firing at the same concentration. So you have to play with the firing temperature and have a close bath on the viscosity of black liquor, especially those who are using black liquor. It's just a comparison of uh, bagas at different RA and rice extra bamboo and pine. Bagas at 1, 4.5 and 9.5 GPL RA. You can say bagas at number 1 at the top has the highest viscosity. Almost in all the cases. And pine, the soft food, has low viscosity. We have discussed in earlier slides also quantitatively. Just to see the impact of viscosity and aerofetra capacity. If I Viscosity increases 0.1 to 1 times, 10 times higher. My 25 percent increase, 25 to 27 percent capacity of my operator goes down. It's a very significant figure. So viscosity has its tax on operator capacity if it increases. So one has to see closely how to monitor this viscosity and if it increases, how to control this viscosity. You can control, there are many things you can have, especially in case of Badas, you can have liquor treatment. In case of uh, uh, rice straw, in case of rice straw, you have to work on uh, silica, which plays a significant role in the viscosity. Or you can have, look in, if you have, you can, you should have a relook on your pulping conditions, on your pulping parameters, what is the RA you are putting, what the cooking air you are cooking, which chemical you are, uh, and what is how you are efficiently washing your raw material, these things have significant impact on viscosity. Just to show you that viscosity, how much impact it has on our better capacity. BP, boiling point values, uh, elevation, I have told you at the starting of my slides. So, Boiling point dilution actually normally normally checking 
At the time of Digani, we have got a second interested somewhere else. We are going normally for the Indian paper mill. But as the dead load goes on increase, as there is certain raw material change, as there is a good change, there is a change, there is a drastic change in BP. And you end up with the lower efficiency of air operator. And you say, as the cost increases, or something else has happened, I could not have paid up to the high concentration. I have, not, I have to reduce my feed rate. This may be due to BP. If you have made certain changes in your perfect, please get your black rate test feed for viscosity, for BP, and for other relevant parameters. Whenever you change any raw material, whenever you change any perfect condition. You see again the same thing because we can we can go to 44 to 45 percent BP. Earlier we talk about 12, 13, 14 degree centigrade BP, but now we find in a in a mill 18 percent, 18 degree centigrade BP due, due to dead load, due to change in raw material. How it will impact your operator? You have to see. Following tendency, I'm just quickly going through because time. When this forming cause. Difficulty when we have the black liquor, because we used to increase in flow and scale. It is due to organic acid and second acids which got formed in the pulping. We use the formers, we all know. Just to give you a quantification the how the different black liquors have a forming tendency. You see that rice is the highest forming tendency. I think the last one, 18, is a missile. And then it's followed by the wheat stuff. Then by the so this is a major problem with the rice of black liquor. It has a highest forming tendency, and this uh, wheat straw also. So while this is uh, the better objective to see this slide here, most of the mill, every mill is using deformers at first. But how you set the doses? How you can set deformer doses? You just see, yes, earlier this was the form, now there is no form. But you may exceed, you may have exceeded the dose required. Because if you require 50 ppm, there is no form. You put 70 ppm, there will be no form. So you are additionally adding some before. So you check the form index. A very simple test. Very simple process. A physical test only. Just take the blank liquor sample, add different dose of deformer, get the form index test rate in the lab, or you can send it to us, we can do it for you, and fix the deformer, so that we should not go beyond the required deformer doses. Circumstances I already discussed. <coughs> As we are, I am discussing it. Nobody is measuring, and you should measure it as far as the commercial way is concerned. The long waited slide. So, just the, all the conclusions I have discussed with each and every black liquor parameter which you are testing, but only the message which I want to that you to take away with you. It's just when you are putting a deformer, setting a dose of deformer, please check the forming index, please check the form coefficient. Second, when you are putting the salt cake, when you see that sulfidity is coming down, I have maintained sulfidity 22, but it's coming down, 21, 20, 19, 18. While the people are doing, they start adding more salt cake, more salt cake. Don't do it. Please don't do it. in your black. If the surface content is same, or it has increased, sulfidity decreased, then there are certain other reasons for lower sulfidity. It may be temperature, it may be combustion behavior. So please send, fix a benchmark on surface content of black liquid rather than sulfidity for putting the salt cake in. There are certain issues to discuss, but I think time is not permitting. We will discuss it during daytime. Thank you very much.